Fanny. Welcome back to We're Reading Virtual Storytime for Fall of 2020. This week we're going to talk about bullies because this week, October 14th, we're going to have National Stop Bullying Day. We want to be a bu buddy, not a bully. Do you know what a bully is? Well, I hope not because I hope you've never been bullied. But a bully is a person who does mean things to people just because they think it's funny. And we don't want to do that. We want to be friendly with people. So this week what we're going to do is we're going to read a story called The Pout Pout Fish and The Bully Bully Shark by Deborah Dyson. And then we're going to go ahead and make our own rocking shark. That'll be really fun. But first let's sing our song. Ready? We welcome you to story time, story time, story time. We welcome you to story time. We'll all have lots of fun. Okay, enjoy the Pout Pout Fish and the Bully Bully Shark. The Pout Pout Fish and the Bully Bully Shark by Deborah Deason. Pictures by Dan Hanna. Deep in the ocean on a warm, gentle day, bubbled lots of lovely laughter and the sounds of happy play. Mr. Fish, his pals, and buddies were together at the park, having fun and feeling welcome when along came... A shark! The shark showed his teeth and he growled as he swam. Move aside, micro fishies. It's my turn. Scram! Mr. Fish shrank back and he felt very strange. The bright morning tilted and the park began to change. The friends all around him seemed to shrink back too. Mr. Fish's face flattened. Oh, I don't know what to do. Shark acted badly. Being mean is wrong, but I'm just one fish. Am I really that strong? The water slowly calmed and the friends found their way back to laughter-filled frolic in a cheery, cheery day. But the shark came round again, and he used a bad name. He shouted, Get lost! I'm the boss of this game! Mr. Fish shrank back with his feelings in a lump. Fear grew inside him in a weird, heavy clump. The friends all around him seemed to shrink back too. Mr. Fish's face furrowed. Oh, I don't know what to do. Shark acted badly. Being mean is wrong. But I'm just one fish. Am I really that strong? The friends tried again to enjoy their favorite park. But the shadow of their worries made the day seem dark. The unmentioned tension grew when Shark reappeared. He stole a guppy's lunch. Fear the fin, he sneered. Mr. Fish shrank back and his innards did a flop. His feelings tumbled jumbled. Would the awful ever stop? The friends all around him seemed to shrink back too. Mr. Fish's face fizzled. Oh, I don't know what to do. Shark acted badly. Being mean is wrong, but I'm just one fish. Am I really that strong? He turned to leave the park, feeling sad through and through. Then slowly came a thought. There was something he could do. Words can make a difference when things go wrong. Yes, I'm just one fish, but my voice is strong. Mr. Fish turned back and directly faced the shark. It was time to talk straight about what happened in the park. Mr. Shark, said Mr. Fish, you have broken up our fun. Bully isn't who you are, but it is what you have done. The things you did were mean, and that's not what we expect. So please leave until you're ready to treat us with respect. As Mr. Fish spoke up and his words rang out loud, the friends around him formed an upstanding crowd. Together, they were stronger. Now none of them were scared. They cared about each other and the ocean world they shared. Soon Mr. Fish was laughing. His friends were having fun, taking turns and using empathy, each and every one. The park filled again with the joyful sounds of play, plus the confidence of knowing how to keep it that way. We are kind, we are fair, we are all potential friends, so we speak up when we need to. That's how bullying ends. The end. Okay, so we're gonna make our rocking shark. Um, so what you need is a paper plate, um, scissors to cut things out. You need to make a tail fin and teeth. I went ahead and found these on 
Google Images and made myself a template. Um, then I just printed them and cut them out on cardstock. So those are already cut for us. Um, those over here. Um, you'll need gray paint because I'm going to make my shark gray. Um, you can actually make it any color you want. What I did was I mixed um, about, I'd say an inch and a half of white with just like literally two drops of black and that's how dark the gray is. So you definitely want to add the black slowly to it. And I use this um, craft stick to go ahead and mix it up. I'm just going to toss that now. Um, you'll need a glue stick um, to glue things on or tape or um, school glue, whatever. Um, I have a googly eye, of course, to make his eye. Um, I'm going to paint. You can paint with a paintbrush or even if you want to, you can color or use markers or whatever. But I made these little, um, they're like shower poofs. Um, it's just netting and I accordioned it and sewed it together to make a little poof to make kind of a textured painting. And then I have this toothbrush I'm going to use with the black to make the gills on the shark. And then of course I have glitter because I'm going to put some glitter on it. So the first thing we're going to do before we even paint is we need to give our shark his mouth and his dorsal and his um, side fin here. Um, so what you want to do is take the plate, see how it's face up, you want to fold it in half and make sure it's nice and creased. This will be where it rocks later. Um, but what we want to do is make a nice big mouth with a um, triangle. So I'm just going to cut right down there. And I'm going to cut up to meet it. And it falls off nicely. So that'll be like that. This will be where we stick his teeth later. And we'll have to cut those off some um, to make them shorter. I left the black outline on them because I like mine like that. But you don't have to. Um, but I'll cut that off. And then um, one of these will be the dorsal fin. Now it's on the side of the shark, and then one will be the side fin. So we need to paint all of these things. Um, I'm going to leave his teeth white. Um, you can make them red or yellow or whatever to make them different. Um, but we need to paint the tail fin, the shark, and we open it up. Uh, make sure that it's face down now. See how it curves down. Um, because that's the part you went out. Kind of looks like a sting right now, so that might be something good for future if you're going to do sea crafts. Um, and I'm going to paint both sides of these and both sides of this. Um, so we'll go ahead and get to work with that. And like I said, I'm just going to use this little poof. Okay, so now they're all glittered up. I'm gonna save the paint. Um, hopefully this will dry rather quickly. Um, and I'm saving the paint just in case I need to touch up a few spots where it's touching things. Um, but that should just take a tiny dab. So why don't we go ahead and let this stuff dry. And once it's dry, I will show you what to do. Okay, so everything's nice and dry now. Um, we just need to attach all of our parts. We'll need to cut the teeth down a little bit. Um, for the teeth, I'm just going to use the um, glue stick to glue them on the inside. Um, but because I use the glitter, I think I'm going to need to use, you know, a tacky glue or a school glue to attach the um, fins and the tail fin here. We have a dorsal fin, a side fin, and a tail fin, and also the eye. And then once all that's done, I'm going to go ahead and use the toothbrush to kind of paint on little gills but of course you know glitter everywhere so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and glue it together and we'll have our rocking um, shark all done okay so there it is um doesn't rock as well as I thought it would um, live and learn but it does stand up nicely and you can't make them kind of rock there. Um, should have kind of figured that the tail fin was going to weigh it down in the back. 
um, but you saw how I cut the teeth a little bit to make them the right length and I just painted little gills on there. You could probably use a marker to do that too. Um, be much easier without the glitter but you know how much I love glitter. So that's it. That's our rocking bully bully shark. And hopefully he'll be nice to the pop pop fish from now on. I hope you had a great time at We're Reading Storytime. Come back next week. Bye!